In Affinity Photo, you can apply destructive, that's via filters, or non-destructive effects, that's via the layer menu. And I'm gonna use this with an inversion of this image. So layer, and go down here to new live filter layer, and down to colors and procedural texture. Once you've done that, it will create an additional layer over there. You can see that in the layers. It's a layer which you can remove, tweak and change at any point. You've got some presets, but I'm just gonna create my own. So I'm just gonna quickly go here and click plus to create an equation. So plus, by default, it goes with red. Red equals zero, and none of the other channels are active. I want all the other channels to be active, so I can just go R, G, and B. Now they're all equal to zero, which is obviously black. But you can also enter an equation. I'm just gonna put one minus bracket R plus G plus B bracket divided by three. And now you've got that version. And you can tweak it more. Obviously that's quite nice, but you might think I want more, say the red to be applied. So let's just go over here. So red times, or asterisk, times two. And that will make it darker. And you can also, of course, tweak the G and the B as well. That's the red, the green, and the blue. What you can also do, you might decide, you know what, let's just change that. Maybe make it six instead. And you can just change it in all kinds of ways. But I'm gonna go with three. Another thing you can do with this, you can go down here and you've got blend modes. So blend modes and opacity. So you might decide, well, I don't want it full on, I want 50%, say. So you've got 50% obviously the image, 50% of the effect. And you can reduce that and reduce it, and you can see you can create some very interesting designs just that way. And again, it's still live, you can change it later if you wish. But also you've got blend modes as well. So click here. Now, of course, if you apply the effect as a layer outside, you could, of course, use blend modes with that as well. You could fade it. But I'm not doing that. I'm just doing it here, and it's still live, so you can change it at any point. Go color burn. Now, the effect sometimes, obviously, is not great, but say you've got here overlay. You might think, yes, that is absolutely perfect. Obviously, it's not black and white now. But with this, I can now close it. But I can also save the preset, and I'll show that in a later video. Let's just close it, and then you've got your effect there.